welcome back, this is Bonus Scuba with bonus episodes of Let's Play Secret of Mana. I am joined as always by our champions, Jake, Shion, and Yancey. When we last left off, I beat the game. But there's still more for me to show off. Uh, first things first, you'll notice that everybody is insanely high in the HP department. They have reached level 99. You'll notice that Jake, of course, has more... Wow, let's just kill that guy. Has more HP than anybody else, that's of course, because he doesn't have magic, so seems only fair. I have leveled up everything. Uh, we'll be going over weapons later, but first, let's go over the magic. I have leveled up the magic all the way. This is as high as it goes, 8 colon 99. Uh, whenever somebody refers to level 9, this is what they're referring to. There's no not level 9 um, for anything, really, except for your, your characters. But that's completely different. There's no level 9 for magic or for weapons. There's only 8 colon 99. Uh, with the magic, that 99 is actually important. It actually does something as opposed to the weapons. Uh, with the 99 on magic, what that does is, well, let me rephrase this. At level 8, starting at level 8, you'll start to have a chance to cast a secondary form of any magic. And the second... The second number after level 8, what well, is now 99, is your percentage chance to cast that second form, more effective form, of that magic. So it is time to show off all that magic in their secondary forms. Almost all the magic has secondary forms, and they are always more effective when there is one. But I'll be showing off all the magic anyway. Let's go ahead and get that started. Let's go ahead and get this magic showcase underway. First one is going to be Undyne. Let's show off Remedy. Uh, we have seen it. It doesn't have a special form. Uh, basically, it cures most status effects. It's very nice if you want to go ahead and use that. Next up, we have Cure. Let's cure everybody so we can get more of an idea of how much this is actually curing. This does has a, have a special form. You'll get two drops of water. And that is quite a bit. About 600 for everybody. That is ridiculous amounts of healing. And then finally, for Undyne, we have Ice Saber. Which, um, if you strike an enemy, will make it into a snowman. Also increases your, your weapon power, which is also nice. Next up, we have Xion's No Magic. First, we're going to be using Defender, which of course increases your defense against physical attacks. Didn't really notice a difference there. Maybe there were more balls, but I couldn't really tell. A lot of these, I'm not going to be able to tell a difference. Next, we have Speed Up, which is definitely a misnomer. It actually increases your chance to hit and your chance to evade. Not not your speed. You notice we're going the same speed here. Uh, Love, love Xion's magic is, is misleading, if you ask me. Then we got Stone Saber, of course. Um, increases your, uh, your weapon's power, but also has a chance to turn him to stone, which is nice. Next up, we have Xion's Sylphid magic. First, we have Analyzer. This doesn't look any different and doesn't do anything more for you at level 8, to be honest with you. There you go. You get... Wow, we could just absolutely destroy it. I do need some enemies on screen, though, for this next attack, which is Balloon, which isn't really an attack, but it will definitely temporarily hold them in spot, in whatever spot they're in. They got a balloon on them, so they're easy to hit. No, I get to cast my magic. Next, we have Thunder Spear, which, of course, puts uh, Thunder Elemental on your weapon, which pretty much gives you more power. I don't believe there are any status effects with this one, though. Next, we have Shion Salamando Magic. First, we have Fire Bouquet, which does damage the enemy, as you'll see here. It also stops them for a second and decreases their attack which is always nice. Then we need to find another enemy for me to show off. Blaze Wall. Put on one that's off screen. There we go. He, he came back on screen. 
and the Water Thug is engulfed, and we do damage to him, which is always nice. And we also have Flame Saber. Put that on us. Increases your weapon's power and engulfs the enemy when you hail. Very nice. Now it's time for Lumina's Magic. First we have Lucid Barrier, which protects you from physical attacks, as you saw when it got used against me. It's very limited, though, so I'm not a big fan of it. We also have Lightsaber, which, as you might expect, increases weapons power, gives them the power of light. And finally, we have Lucent Beam. Is that right on that steam crab? Or it could die, and now I have to use it on somebody else just to see how much damage it does. This guy. Do not hit this guy. If you hit him, I will hate you. Nope, I got him. I got him. How much damage does it do? Almost max. Not quite. Very close, though. Now it's time for Luna. We have Moon Saber, which... Well, it increases your, your attack power, but it also causes drain for you. But if you should hit it, as you can see, we get a drain out of that. Should you hit an undead enemy, it will reverse it and you'll damage yourself. Kind of strange. Now it's time for Lunar Boost, which uh, gives you more attack power, but your evade is down, so you trade a little bit off there. And now it's the, the last one is Moon Energy, one that I am not a fan of. How do I do it on everybody? I can't do it on everybody, so uh, we'll just put that on, on Jake then. Uh, moon Energy, um, it, 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 don't, it won't tell you, but it increases your critical hit damage. Not, not the percentage of it actually happening, but how much damage is done when you get a critical hit. Next up we have Dryad. Just a couple spells here. We can cast Wall. Go ahead and put that on Jake so we can actually see it land. I don't think there's actually... It looks a little different. Oh, no, it broke into balls, didn't it? And we have Revivifier, which I had to kill Yancey in order to get. Let's see how much we can heal from this one. Ooh, two angels now. Instead of just the one. And full health. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And that's it for Xion's magic. Now it's time for Yancey's. First off for Yancey, we've got Undine again. Let's show off Freeze. We'll just do it on one. I'm sure the other one will die, though. We got... Oh, those things are huge! A lot of damage there. Next up we've got Acid Storm. Damn, that is a lot of rain. And... Nothing else here. Alright, uh, there is one below me. Let's go ahead and use Energy Absorb on uh, the Bomb Bee there. Didn't see that much of a change, but that did a ton of heals. Very, very nice. Next up, it's Gnome. We've got Jam Missile, which we have seen a lot of this Let's Play, but now it is vastly improved. Look at the size of that gem! And then, boom, just shoots off and destroys everything. Very, very nice, Knuckles. We got Earth Slide. Oh, look at that smiley face! Down it goes, down it goes. And finally, we've got... Uh, not close enough just yet. Let's head down the stairs. Now we're close enough. Let's show off speed down on just the B. Just the B. The other one's dead anyway. Look at all them vines! And then it died before its... Well, not speed, but before its hit and evasion went down. Once again, speed doesn't mean speed in this game. Next up is Sylphid. We have Air Blast. Something else that we have seen a lot of. But this time it's a full tornado. Very nice. Next up is Thunderbolt. See what we can do against that guy. Don't kill him just yet because I need to hit him with my lightning. And down he goes. Max damage on that one. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now we have Silence. So that it can't cast spells. And it's confused. So we just kill it anyway. 
the bee cannot live. Next up we have Salamando. Let's launch some fire at these bees as we knock them all down. But we don't kill them, which is why I'm here. And look at them snakes. And damn, that is doing a lot of damage. Well, it looks like it was going to do a lot of damage, but these guys are not weak versus fire, apparently. Let's go for some exploder on this guy. Uh, once again, you know, the damage is so relative here. Just trust me, it does a little bit of damage. Seriously, Shion? Seriously? Down, down, off the stairs. Thank you. I, I am amazed that you have gone this far in life without figuring out how stairs work. Next up, we have Lava Wave. Die due to lava in your face. And down goes the bee. Next up is Shade. Let's show off some dark force. My spamming magic! Is it still as spammy as ever? Oh, you better believe it is. We get explosion at the end. It lasts forever. And we did a shit ton of damage with that. A lot more than the fire, but that's really a matter of these enemies, not so much the spell level. Seriously? Well, we get to see the animation anyway. This would have done max damage, I, I guarantee it. But that is what Evil Gate looks like. Now we can also turn on Dispel Magic. I don't know if this has a different animation. I think it does. As long as we get to see the animation, that's all important. Of course, Dispel Magic takes away any um, magic that they have equipped. You know, like walls and stuff like that. Next up is Luna. First we have Change Form. Change the bee into something a little bit easier for me to destroy. Ah, like a mushroom. Very nice. And then we've also got Lunar Magic. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what this one does. It is completely random. It'll sometimes do things to them. It'll sometimes do things to you. Uh, it, its effects are completely randomized. Uh, so I, I am not a fan of this one. Please don't kill him, so we can try to show off at least a little bit of what's going on here. I, I don't know what that did. So let's, let's just absorb his magic and call it a day. How much How much are we going to get out of that? 40. Very, very, very nice. And last but not least, we have Dryad. Let's go ahead and put these guys to sleep, which of course is what Sleep Follower does. Just a few more petals that time. Now we can burst them. Probably to death. That is the way that this works. But as you can see, the whole screen changes. Nobody can move anymore. This is how powerful Burst is. And down they go. And that is going to do it for the Magic Showcase of Let's Play Secret of Men. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by our champions, Jake, Shion, and Yonsi. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.